Welcome back guys, this is Rob with Tech. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to do install Pinehole on a Docker Compose. Um, this one's a little tricky, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. So usually the way that I like to do my installs on Docker, I like to just go to Docker Hub and I just search for the image, right? And in this case, you have all the, the Docker Compose here already, but if you use it this way, it's not gonna work because of the ports this is port 53 and port 80 are being used by open media vault so i'll just show you that if you use it that way services compose files and you create the high hole remember we have to modify the directories here um i'm just gonna save it like this i'll come back i need a Copy the absolute path. The storage shared folders. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my data folder. So I'll just go ahead and copy this absolute path. You go back to services, compose file, pyhome. Now, here, remember anything before the colon is what's going to be on your system. Anything on, on the right is what's going to be shown on the, on the container. Uh, so let me do, I'm just going to go ahead and add my absolute path. And then I'm going to add another folder. I'm going to put it into a pie hole folder. Now I'll do the same thing here. But in this case, I'll add it into a, the pie hole. Well, that should be fine because this one's is going to create a, a pie hole folder and then it's going to add the ETC and then it's going to add the ETC all right so we can save it like that now here if you're going to use dhcp you can leave this like in my case i'm not going to use the tcp because i'm just going to be using this to filter out uh via the dns level so i'm going to go ahead and give a comment this out you can remove it but i mean it just depends on your installation um the other thing would be this port right here uh, that's only required if it's a uh, DHCP. Now, this parameter, the web password, it is needed. This is where you're going to specify your password. I'm just going to do 1234. I mean, through 8. Don't use that, of course. Uh, use something more secure. So, that should be pretty much it. Uh, let me go ahead and try to run it. Like I said, this is going to fail because of the ports. So there is what I mean that it failed. So one way to do it is if you change those ports, instead of just being on 53, change to 54, and then change it to 81. Now that's gonna be confusing because you're gonna have to modify the port on your router level. Um, so alternatively, what you can do is create a Mac VLAN. Um, I took a lot of time researching this subject and with the, the installation of Paiho on uh, Docker Compose. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you the way that I decided to go ahead and, and create the Mac VLAN. We first have to add the uh, the network tab, right? So I want to go ahead. I'm going to add the host name. This would be what you want your Paiho server to be called or your container that's how it's going to be presented on your network and then we're going to add the network and i'm just going to name mine pih underscore networks this is just a network name uh it just depends on what you want to name it now here's where you have to know what ip address you're going to give your your pyho installation in my case, I'm going to do 2.168.1. I guess 50 would, would, would work for my case. And after you install that there, you go, go go ahead to the bottom. After your volumes, you have to do networks again. And this is where you're going to specify how you want the network to be. In this case, we'll tell Docker to use a Mac VLAN. Your driver, and you're gonna do Mac VLAN and driver. And 
Now for the parent, you need to check on your home screen. I'm, I'm gonna save it here. Uh, we said this is not complete. We still need to get the parent. Here you go to dashboard, you can see your network interface and this would be your parent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. Go to services, compose. So here on parent, we're gonna have to add that interface name. Config. Here's just gonna tell the container what is the the subnet that 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 the container is gonna have access to, right? So in my case, it's the one sixty eight one eight two one sixty eight dot one dot zero four dash twenty four. Now the gateway. Okay, this one needs a space. And then, okay, right there, gate gateway. It's going to be a gateway of your router. Now this IP underscore range, it's just going to like, it's like a DCP within Docker. So if you just want to use that one IP address, which is uh, the one dot 50 that I use in my case, which I recommend you using. So you're going to go ahead and add the, the IP address again, 192.168.1.50. Or slash 32 and basically that's just telling docker to give you one ip address to so the slider slash 32 uh, that's what it is i mean you can just look for a, a subnet calculator and you can see how 32 31 30 like in this case 24 this gives you i think it's 254 uh network host so this should be complete so let me go ahead and save now, if you're confused on the parameters that I used here, let me show you. I'll connect to my router and show you why I use that. So this should work now. Okay, so I added a restart property twice. Oh, I think it doesn't belong here because I added the this information here. We'll just specify it up here at the colon there. Oh, I think I was missing the code. Let's give me a second. Let me go ahead and try this. Yeah, I guess it doesn't want it to be there in the network section. So let me push here. There it is. So it's going to start. We're going to go to uh, the command line. Now, if we ping uh, the Raspberry, a pi so 192.168.1.50 this will be the ip address that you used you can see that now it's replying i already went to the ip address so 192.168.1.50 you have to do like uh the four slash admin and it'll get you into your raspberry pi let me log out so the password here would be the what you said on the web password in the compose file now currently we don't have any entries or anything right now because nothing is pointed to it now to point anything to it we have you have to do it there's two ways of doing it either you modify the dns on the specific device or you can do it through your router it's better to do it through your router so you can just send all your devices to that so in order to do that you just go ahead and connect uh access your router in my case mine is in 188 192.168.1.1 um, let me log in real quick. Now here, you're going to find your WAN settings. Um, so here you're going to find, if you have it on, on auto, what that is doing is taking your, the DNS from your ISP. In my case, I have it manual because I was using Google's DNS. So re remember that we don't have any entries or anything on, on Pyhole yet because nothing's on it. So you modify this, um, you, you go ahead and put the uh, 192.168.1.50. This is the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So after you do that, you just save the changes. All right, so uh, I already saved it. Let's see if uh, we should start seeing some traffic on our Raspberry Pi. Or oh, I need to search something. Let me go ahead and do a tip. 
you see now we have started getting queries due to clients the query data you can see that it started passing all this information in like i'm gonna go for, uh, search for um yahoo.com so we can see it on this list let me refresh see it hit the yahoo all right so now that walmart.com now after that if we go back to the query log you can see that well somewhere in here we're gonna have walmart and it's already started blocking certain things right from from walmart and i mean this is how you can get it installed on a do in docker using compose a uh, quick setup guide uh, would be pyhole works on at this right so you can just go into the add list and you add your addresses here you add a comma just so you know what you added and go ahead and click add uh, I really don't use Pi-hole at the moment because I use uh, PFSense. I have PF blocker on my home router. Um, but if you're thinking of what do I what access list IP block list I have, this is the IP blocks that I use on PF blocker. I'm not sure if they would work. I mean, I think they would because they're they're considered just IP block list. Um, I know there's other guides on how to set up Pi-hole. Um, it probably would be better if you can uh, follow one of those guides because this is not. And how to set up Pyho is just more on how to get it deployed using Docker Compose. Um, that'll be all, guys. If you guys have any other video ideas that I should uh, try, uh, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment, a like. Well, stay tuned for more videos to come.